It is Thursday, July 19th, 2012, and last week I finished reading The War Room by Warren Kinsella. And what I plan on doing is now rereading The War Room by Warren Kinsella. And to be clear and for the record, the reason why I'm reading and rereading The War Room by Warren Kinsella is I get insight into an interesting individual by the name of Rob Trewartha. I wanted this for the record that I first learned about Rob Trewartha on June 15, 2011. Uh, he happened to have written a letter to the editor in the Mississauga News. And like a true spinner, because Trewartha is, at the time, senior consultant to Warren Kinsella's Daisy Consulting and was part of certainly Dalton McGinty's War Room. And what I'm going to do is, is uh, play that video now. It is Wednesday, June the 15th, 2011, and this is what the Toronto Star looks like. And what I want to do is just uh, go to a Mississauga News uh, letter to the editor by a guy named Rob Trewartha. And I just want to read it and then offer some context. He writes, um, Too much. Dear Editor, I want my $25 back. I seem to recall during the 2010 municipal campaign that many candidates and councillors, including George Carlson... Anyway, he writes about uh, the Mississauga Judicial Inquiry, obviously opposes it, and um, he questions the price tag and now he says he wants his $25 back. And what Rob Trewartha fails to mention is exactly who he is. He's not just your average Mississauga resident. So what I did back then was Google Rob Trewartha. And that might be good for you to do as well. And it led to some really interesting revelations on this guy. And one of the things about researching and being really tenacious about researching uh, is that you follow all kinds of tangents. Uh, many of them are dead ends and, you know, it's not necessarily a waste. You learn something in the process. But in the case of Googling Rob Trewartha, I hit on a splendid piece of luck. Where he writes, if Mississaugans were given the truth up front, if Mississaugans were given the truth up front, if uh, Trewartha had given the truth up front about what he was like and that is given context, uh, Mississaugans would have a better idea of why he's motivated to write that. And you go and you check his uh, Facebook page. Uh, let's go back right here. There's Rob Trewartha. And you'll see here he's with Don Cherry and Hazel McCallion. Right? <laughs> so the truth right up front, which is hidden by the, uh, in the Mississauga News letter to the editor is that, well, let's take a look at this one here with Don Cherry. Somebody's asking, what, what is grapes, meaning uh, Don Cherry doing? And Rewartha says, oh, at last year's rally for Hazel, I helped organize it. And that's why I'm interested in Rob Trewartha. He helped organize the Friends of Hazel rally, December 2nd, 2009. To explain why that's important to me, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that Rob Trewartha, who wrote that back in June 15, 2011, I didn't know at the time that he was senior consultant to Warren Kinsella's Daisy Consulting Group. And I have done intensive research on the individuals involved in the Friends of Hazel rally. And what's interesting is that they, these people can be described as uh, Hazel McCallion and Bonnie Crombie's War Room. So why am I reading the War Room? Well, Rob Trewartha actually recommended it to me. It is Monday, July the 16th, 2012, and this is what the Toronto Star looks like. And I just want to go and document uh, The War Room by Warren Kinsella here at uh, indigo.ca. And the review was written by Rob Trewartha five years ago. So let me just read this for the record. An extension to his kicking ass in Canadian politics, 
The War Room is an updated look at political campaigning in the 21st century. In this book, Kinsella provides a how-to manual of sorts to anyone looking to run a public relations campaign. His primary rule, and subsequently the dominant theme of the book, which he admits he borrowed from James Carville, a.k.a. God, is to leave no charge unanswered. If hit, hit back. Each chapter is structured as a lesson, ten in total, including one of my favorites titled Get the Handle Scandal Manual. It is Thursday, July 19, 2012, and this is what the Toronto Star looks like. Uh, this is from Warren Kinsella, and it was uploaded, as you can see here, on September 30th, 2008. Hi, it's uh, Warren at arm's length. Uh, what we wanted to do for you here today, uh, my colleague and I, Rob, is recreate for you the uh, what happens in the speechwriting shop in uh, Stephen Harper's office. Okay, so we're speechwriters. 